iOS 26 Beta 1 is finally here. It is packed with new features and changes as well as a redesign with the liquid glass. It looks really really cool and being a Beta 1 is such, of such a big update it's actually quite smooth. So it brings a ton of new features and changes. Now there are some features that are really cool and that I believe most of you guys will really like. So in today's video I will show you guys 10 brilliant new features that you will be able to find on iOS 26 Beta 1. But before we get into all that I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so if you're enjoying the videos and you want to see more of them please consider subscribing it really helps out a lot and we're starting with a simple one but it's actually super useful so when you're on your ios device and when you go anywhere on the device you know that you can swipe like this to actually go back on the screen but now with ios 26 you don't have to reach for the corner you can actually just swipe anywhere here from the left to the right and you will be able to actually go back on any page iOS 26 will make your life much easier by allowing you to now transfer eSIMs from Android to your device. So if you have an eSIM on an Android device, you don't need to go through a carrier or maybe buy a new eSIM for your iPhone. You will have now the ability to actually, once you try to set up an eSIM, you will have the option here to actually transfer it from an Android device, which of course will save you money, time, and make your life much much easier. Now when you go to your settings on iOS 26 beta 1 and go to sounds and haptics you will find here a new option. So it is called a late night mode. You can go ahead and enable it and what this will do is that it will actually soften loud sounds on your iPhone and bring up a bit low sound so it will basically make everything sound the same not too loud not too low so it will just give you a way like a be better feeling when you're listening to sounds on your device whether those be notifications or a pop-up or something like that you can now go ahead and enable that option it is really worth it on ios 26 beta 1 we have a new feature called accessibility reader now you will be able to find that if you head on to your settings go under accessibility and then go right here to read and speak and there it is you can turn it on and you will be able to actually use this using the side button here those three three presses right there it will enable it and it will basically show you in this mode everything that's on the screen it makes it really easy for you to actually read it but you can also play it right here you will have the small player right here that looks really cool you can tap right there to go forwards and backwards you can tap here to actually change the playback speed which is really awesome and if you tap right there you can customize the reader or hide the audio controls. Now here's another really cool new feature of the new iOS 26 beta 1. When you have your AirPods charging, it will now show you a notification on your lock screen when your AirPods are fully charged. As you can see right here, it says AirPods Pro are fully charged. You get a notification so you don't have to look around or go grab your AirPods to see if they have been charged or not. Now you will know that via a notification. On the music app, when you go to your playlists, now you can actually create folders. It is really easy to do so. You can just tap the plus button right there where you can add a new playlist or create a new folder. You enter the name right here and then that folder will be here. So you go back, you will have the folder right there. You will have the playlists. You can go ahead and add different playlists to different folders so that we have moved to. We can go ahead and choose that folder or create a new folder directly from here and add the playlist to that folder. So you tap move right here and you're good to go. So it's actually really nice, a really easy way to organize your playlists in different folders. So you might have a folder for a genre, a different folder for a different genre. So it's actually quite useful. Now, one thing that is actually not that useful, but it looks good is that the home bar within apps is gone. As you can see, it will be there for like a second and then it's gone. I can stay on this app here as long as I want and it won't display the home bar here over the app. That's amazing, a really nice touch, 
really small but of course it's kind of annoying seeing the home bar there all the time we know where the home bar is we don't need to see it so now it's gone with ios 26 beta 1. a cool feature that you will find under the collection section on the photos app is the ability to pin anything you want so it will have this pin section right here which of course you can leave here or you can place it at the top wherever you want it now you can actually go ahead and pin anything you need so if i just want to pin my slow-mo folder i just really touch on it tap on pin and it will be here now what i can do once i have pinned like a folder of course i can just tap on it and unpin it like this where I can tap the edit button there and it will show me everything that I have pinned. I can rearrange them, remove any of them, or add anything I want right there to the pinned section. Really easy way to actually find things that you need and use the most faster by just having them pinned at the top of your collections. Now here's another really useful feature. Head on to your settings, go to general, and then go to airplay and continuity. Right here, we'll see a feature called keep audio in headphones. Now when you have your AirPods or even other headphones connected, it will keep the audio in your headphones even when other playback devices like cars or speakers are connected to your iPhone. So you have the audio on your AirPods, you get in your car, it connects to your car, it won't actually move the audio to your car, but it will keep it to your AirPods or even other headphones that you might have connected via Bluetooth to your iPhone. The Wallet app on iOS 26 Beta 1 has also gotten some pretty nice updates. Now you can actually tap there and it will show you your autofill cards. Now what you can do, and I won't go there, but I will just tell you, so you tap right there, it shows you your autofill cards that you have saved, even cards that are not supported on Apple Pay. And you can actually go ahead and edit them or add different information that might be missing. Just manage your autofill cards that you have saved down directly from there a very easy way to do so from the wallet app you can also do that by going to the settings app so head on to settings wallet and apple pay and then scroll down here we'll have autofill cards and basically you will have the same options there you can go ahead and manage your autofill cards so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are 10 brilliant new features that you will be able to find on the new ios 26 beta 1 Hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you're liking ios 26 it's actually really cool i'm really enjoying it and discovering new features every day so again that is it thank you for watching subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one